Today we're looking at a Seth Thomas uh, timber style, which is the camelback or humpback or whatever people might say. That is a timber style uh, mantle clock. This is from the 1940s. What's special about this, besides the fact that I think it's beautiful, I just love the um, the face on this one, but it's walnut in the center, and then it is mahogany everywhere else. So the sides are mahogany and top, which is beautiful, and the front is walnut. I think makes it very special. And I love these hands. Aren't these beautiful hands? We have these fancy hands. Uh, there is the arbor for adjusting the uh, time, either slower or faster. That's what the small end of the key is for, in case you never knew. There's two ends to some keys. The small end goes into the Arbor, and it either makes it go faster or slower so you don't have to turn the clock around and adjust the pendulum length. There's three arbors. One is for the time. One is for the Westminster chime. One is for the hourly chime. It's a much more detailed clock works uh, where this will actually chime on the quarter hour. Let's show you. That's the four notes. Each, no each quarter hour will be increased by four other notes, so this should be eight notes. Three-quarter, we'll have 12 notes. And then 16 notes on the hour and followed by the count of the hour on a different chime. I love that Seth Thomas chime. It sounds like Big Ben, doesn't it? Okay. There it is with the glass cover. It's a very well-made clock, and it's still in good condition. It actually has the label on it, and you can read how to set up the clock. You can see the date. They like to trick people in 
horology world. So this date is 4802, which would be most likely 02 or February of 1948. There's usually either a date, a name, where it's made, uh, the size of the movement. It also, can the, the size of the pendulum could be written here too, stamped onto the um, move back of the movement. The length of the pendulum would be on there. It might say 39 cm, which would be 39 centimeters. There is where that arbor comes through to adjust the height of the pendulum. See that spins as you spin the key, pulling the pendulum up slightly or down slightly, which would lengthen the stroke. So, and that. is my Seth Thomas Medbury 4W.